Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily and this is the channel One at a Time. Today I'm sharing with you my May sewing makes and my June sewing plans. So first off, oh, I had 28 chiffon skirt overlays to make and this is one of them. This is my daughter's and the event they had to wear them to is since done and so she gets to keep it now. But all it was was I took the chiffon and I folded it in half and then I sewed it a little ways down from the fold to make a casing for an elastic and then we had ribbon in the back for a tie. So it looks like they pinned it together. Originally they were going to have me have it be a skirt and then they anyway they changed their minds. 20 of them is a lot of chiffon so uh, the plans kind of changed and tweaked as we went along but it turned out all right for my first time working with chiffon and for the purpose it served it was great. Then, once those were done, I felt like I could relax and I could sew for myself. So, this is the shirt that I made for myself that I'm wearing. And it is from New Look Pattern 6104. And I made View A with the sleeve from C, if you can see that. So, yeah, that's what I made. And it turned out really well. Here, I'll model for a second. So, it's got a button placket across not across but down the front and because I changed the neckline I raised it all up about an inch from where it was originally up and then I brought the shoulders I made it come closer to the neck because that's more where I wanted it to sit um, it worked out well I think I may have uh, stretched out one side just a little bit when I was putting this bias binding on the edge but overall I'm pleased there are darts in the back here and then there are some side darts here for the bust. And I love it. I've worn it a lot. I really like it. Uh, when I washed it the first time, it did come undone. This um, sleeve detail, the little tuck, what you do is you fold the raw edge up and it gets captured inside the tuck. And some of that um, came undone. So I just unpicked it and anyway, made a little deeper tuck and took care of it that way. So I like it. Definitely want to make some more of these in my future. So then I got that finished and it was time to finish up uh, my daughter's dress. This is um, the dress that I made for her in April and she just didn't like the style. You guys had great suggestions. Changed it using a different color lace and all those things but we ended up just cutting it off to make the top and I used my double needle to hem the bottom. So yeah. It turned out well, she's excited about it, and that's the purpose, right? So that brought us near the end, I had a week left in May, and it was time for graduation. And so for graduation gifts, I make denim laundry bags. Um, it's just a big circle, and then you put a rectangle on it, a casing, and a drawstring. And so this is what they look like. These are some that we have to actually ship to family. So here's Colton's. And I just had a friend of mine who has an embroidery business just embroider the graduate's name on the bag. And so I made 14 of those. And they really don't take very long. It's just getting it done. It's just one of those, just got to get it done. So I got all those done. And I ended up with the stomach flu as well. So that it's hard even for a simple project like a drawstring bag when you have the stomach flu. Oh well. So then my plans for June, I just realized, I'm not sure I got my fabric out here. Here it is. So for June, sewing for me, I am going to sew clothing this red with a white dot. It's just a teeny tiny white dot on this fabric. And I'm going to use a pattern um, from Simplicity, 3789. And I'm going to use uh, view B, which has a really short cap sleeve, a collar, and it buttons up. And that's my plan for that. So that's what that one looks like. And it's got princess seams, so I shouldn't have a lot of trouble with that because another shirt that I made in April also had princess seams and it fit me really well. So I don't foresee any problems fit-wise with that one. Okay, then the other thing I'm going to make is really not clothing. 
Um, I backpack with my family and my kids are going on a backpacking trip in June and they need some rain covers for their backpacks. And so a rain cover, I've never used one before because we live in such a dry area. We don't even, we don't ever use them, but where they're going, they are required to have them. So what it is, from my understanding, is basically like a great big shower cap that goes over your pack. So I'm going to use this special fabric. Thank you, Chris from the channel That Hiking Guy for helping me know what kind of fabric and some places to look. I ordered it from a place called Ripstop by The Roll and I tried two different kinds of fabric and we'll see how it works but basically I take a big rectangle, I put a casing on it, I put a drawstring, kind of an elastic cording is what it is, in it and that's what goes over the backpack. That's simplified and really I don't know what I'm doing until I get going on it. And then the other thing I'm going to try to do, also thanks to Chris, is to sew a backpacking tarp. So when we go backpacking, there are six to eight of us, depending. Sometimes we bring some extra people. Uh, and it is a lot of weight to carry because not everyone in our family, especially, you know, because I have little ones, can't carry all of their gear. So one way we have been toying with getting rid of some of that weight and bulk is to not take a tent with us, which we did last summer and it worked out great, but we slept under the stars, which is good, but I prefer having a tent around me. And so we're going to try this tarp. And I looked into how much tarps are and they can be quite expensive. So <laughs> I haven't done it. Enter Ripstop by the Roll. They sell a kit um, for a tarp. And so I got their kit. It was about, because of, I mean, the, the prices vary depending on the size and, you know, extras you might add and what kind of fabric, because the prices of the fabric change. My kit was about $63. And I'm going to try it out. I also bought the pattern, which was $10, because I didn't, they're specially shaped. I didn't know that. So now I do. And so that's what I'll be doing in June. I'll also be making a couple of things for my younger kids because we're going to go do a fun activity and family camp. And so they need kind of some western vests and so I thought I might, um, for a western day that we're doing, western evening barbecue thing. So I'll be trying to figure some of those out as well just with um, fabric I have on hand. I have some really fun fur I thought I might make one with. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see kind of how that comes together. But those are my plans for June. should be a very productive month. Uh, and I'm looking forward to all the sewing I have planned. Leave a comment below if you are um, have some sewing that you have planned that you'd like to share with me. I'd love to hear about it. And give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Subscribe if you'd like to be um, on the list for this to show up on your subscriptions. And as always, have a great day.